An envoy from Sudan is in Qatar to discuss exit scenarios as violence continues in Khartoum. Qatar Charity launches a donation campaign for a special project in Tanzania. Just how many Tele Awards has Al Jazeera Network picked up? Stick around to find out. And finally, the hard work begins for Al Annabi as Gold Cup training kicks off. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The envoy of Sudan's army general Abdel Fattah al-Burhan arrived in Qatar on Monday with a reported message for Doha. The envoy met with Qatar's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Sultan bin Saad al-Marrekhi, to discuss the latest developments in Sudan, where more than 700 have been killed in weeks of fighting. Reports say the envoy is also here to discuss a possible exit strategy to put an end to the unrest in the African country. The army has been locked in a brutal conflict with the paramilitary RSF group since mid-April, sending thousands of civilians fleeing to safety. Over in Tanzania, Qatar Charity has launched a donation campaign to build and furnish an orphan care complex. Planned to be built on Pemba Island, the complex will cover more than 8,000 square meters. It will provide housing, education and health services for around 300 orphans. The Qatar Charity needs the help of philanthropists from the community to raise around 4.5 million rials to help set up the project. Now, Al Jazeera Network has swept more than 100 Tele Awards at the annual event. The Qatar-based TV network picked up 16 gold and more than 80 silver and bronze honors for work published across its English and Arabic channels. The Tele Awards included some of the most prominent global media brands such as Disney, Netflix and more. And finally, the Al Annabi team has officially kicked off training under new coach Carlos Quiroz for the very first time. The national team is now on a three-day training camp at Aspire Academy to prepare for the upcoming 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Qatar will open its Gold Cup campaign against Honduras in Houston on the 30th of June. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.